Um, it shows our coordinates, you know, exactly where we are. So it's 706. But uh, that's pretty cool. Only thing is, is this doesn't work in Realms. I don't know why. Realms doesn't like... Uh, Realms doesn't like us, you know, tracking player position at all. I don't, I'm not sure why it won't work. So it actually turns out it does work, and I'm just an idiot. And uh, and I'll actually show you exactly how to get it to work on Realms. Uh, so the reason why it doesn't work in the first place, uh, the world border, is because, like I said in the last video, it's using a query called uh, what query dot uh scoreboard. Uh, which is considered quote unquote experimental uh in you know in Minecraft as as of this update right now. So how you get this to work is you actually have to create a new world uh and in this local world uh obviously you have cheats on but we also we need to toggle all these experimental features and then we just you know create it. And then as soon as we actually go ahead and create this, uh, we can just immediately save and quit. We uh, really, really just need a world that has the experimental features toggled on. Uh, so I have a UAC test realm so that I can actually show you that this will work on a realm. So we can go ahead and uh, just replace this world uh, with the world that we just made. And uh, it'll take a second to do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put UAC on the on Minecraft and wait for that to actually eject. Now, this new si world border system is on uh, Unity Anti-Cheat uh, two, version 2.2, uh, which is currently in beta. Uh, so I will show you how to actually get it early if you really want uh, to have this world border on your realm. Uh, later on in the video, but we're going to actually go ahead and apply UAC to this test realm. It's going to take that second to, uh, you know, you'll see that real quickly, the uh, the apply packs thing. And the weird part is, in this current update, if I go back and look into the behavior packs, it's not actually there. But if I actually hit play, um, for whatever reason, it is actually applied to the realm. You just can't see it in the behavior packs. I was actually pretty stumped on this for a while, and I was wondering why I couldn't get any behavior packs to stick. Uh, but you'll see in a second, Unity will actually run its init file, which it has done right now. And it works. Uh, why you can't see it in the behavior pack function? I don't know. It's bugged. It's it's super bugged. Uh, but I'll actually show you right now that, you know, obviously we're in that test realm. And we're going to go ahead and do, uh, first we need the tag. Uh, so how do you get the tag in UAC is staff status. And notice how that tag is all lowercase. Uh, lowercase is going to be the stand, you know, it's standardized within UAC and everything's going to be lowercase. Uh, so that way it's a lot, uh, it's a lot easier to remember. And then we need world border on at all. Why we just got teleported, I have no clue. We're probably beyond 70k. That is a weird one. Uh, but ignoring that, uh, of course, demonstrators, demonstrators luck. What is that graphical glitch that will... Minecraft, why are you so buggy? So you'll see that it will give you a message of who toggled what, and it will say that, hey, you can actually change this from a range of 100k to 10k. That is correct. You can actually change the world border size in-game, and I'll show you how to do that later. But the default value for the border is actually going to be set uh, to 70k. And the thing is, if you turn off the world border, even after going ahead and changing the value... As soon as you turn it back on, the default value for the border will go back to 70k. And that's just so that the it has a value, and the value I settled on was 70k, because it seemed fair. Uh, so I want to go ahead and game mode C. And let's go ahead and TP ourselves to 
uh the very brink of uh of 70k so the flaw that happened with my old board world border system um in 2.1 is that it was using something called uh, rm which was basically something that looked like this if you did rm equals right so if i were to put this to nine like 90 what this would do is it will tp everyone uh that is beyond 90 blocks f relative to my position uh somewhere whatever chords i put in after this uh so basically it was just this it was tp at a 100k and then uh the spawn chords uh so the problem with this is that uh let's say if i made this 100k if I went to 70k on both my coordinates, it will still think I'm at 100k and then trigger. So basically, it was the world border was in this weird circle and not really a square. So I fixed this. The world border is actually at 70k, but you see on both coordinates, it's not triggering, even though I'm right right up on the world border. So if I actually go ahead and as soon as I hit 70k, it's going to go ahead and say I was uh, passing the world border and uh, teleport me back into spawn, uh, which is a non-lethal method, I guess, since it doesn't really kill you, it doesn't apply wither, it just kind of teleports you back into the world, uh, which keeps you from passing that world border. So to, go, to, so to try to help you guys out, I went ahead and actually put more stuff into the help command and there's now a new subsection uh within the custom toggles uh where you can have you know the world border size band items and the, of course just the module toggles in general uh so you can actually toggle the world border size in game without having to actually mess with any of the uh the files within uac so you can now just go function world border and uh let's say if i were to set it to 80k uh, it's not set to 80k so uh now i can actually pass the 70k mark with no problems which is pretty cool so if i wanted to if i i can just go back and set it back to 70 and as soon as i set it back to 70 it's actually going to teleport me back since i was beyond 70k uh, so you can actually customize the world border size uh, to whatever you want. Uh, if it's from 100k uh, to 10k, uh, counting by tens, uh, you can actually set the world border size to whatever. Now, this is actually incredibly useful uh, to, let's say, like factions or, or SMPs or what have you. Uh, because the thing is, uh, is that realms have a file size limit of 5 gigabytes. Or not five yeah five gigabytes and let's say if uh you are currently doing like uh your realm into seasons uh which let's let's be honest you don't want to tell your player base this but it's directly responsible for the size of the realm uh this will actually help you go ahead and manage the uh manage that file size very nicely so if you if you want to go ahead and get version 2.2 early or any other release early, uh, since version 2.2 is actually still in beta, uh, you can actually go ahead and join the U Unity Anti Cheat Discord. Uh, they'll have there'll be a another Discord in the description as well as 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 well as my Anarchy Realm, uh, which you can also join. Uh, but in this Discord, you can go ahead and you know complain about it, uh, give suggestions about it. Uh, it's probably the fastest way you can actually get in contact with me and the other developer. Uh, and there'll also be uh, a change log which you can look at, which is the other features that are coming to 2.2. Uh, and if you truly wanted, it's actually open source. So if at any point in time, you can actually go ahead and click on one of these comments and uh, actually view the code for yourself uh, live as it, as, it, as it gets changed. Uh, so, 
is uh is helpful to developers and realm owners alike but uh yeah i hope that this world border is actually helpful to you um if you download 2.1 it's not going to work the same way uh and it's only going to work on realms if you do exactly what i did in the start of, of the video uh where you went ahead and uploaded a world to the realm with experimental features on uh so do keep that in mind uh so I probably will update more mini, you know, mini tutorials like this about UAC in the future. Uh, so if you're interested, do hit that subscribe button. And peace out. I don't want it to go back. Either you can come and see me or just let my heart collapse. Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse. Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back. I don't want it to go back. I don't want it to go back. Yeah.